Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for how do they truly feel for you right now? All right, my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. What do we got here? We have the Ten of Pentacles energy. Oh my God, there's a sense of abundance, family, and speaking their truth, Queen of Swords energy. All right, so because they have heartache with the Three of Swords energy, be at the bottom of the deck there. So my darlings, if you'd like a person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So what we're going to talk about today, and let me just change up my camera view here. We're going to talk about their love interest, your love interest feelings, okay? We're going to talk about the actions that they're going to take towards you romantically, and then we're going to talk about the likely outcome, okay? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. All right, so what's gonna happen my Virgo? Love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. How does my Virgo just feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's deck one. How does my Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does my Virgo's love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that is deck two. How does my Virgo's love interest, the one I'm here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Virgo's love interest feel about my Virgo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's check this out, Virgo. I'm going to put these here for now. And let's lay down your cards. At the bottom of the deck again, the Ten of Pentacles is coming out. And also it's interesting because this Ten of Pentacles, it shows two people, they're hugging a tree. Trees represent healing, right? We see all these things that are growing. There's a lot of growth here. And these two people, really, this healing, this growth, this sense of abundance has brought them together. We can see that there is this patient energy, this nurturing, supportive energy. And we see that there is a lot of things being explored here passionately with the Page of Wands. All right, so we have Eight of Cups. We have the star card energy. We have the king of swords. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the hermit card energy. We have the three of cups. We have the justice card. We have the queen of wands and the seven of swords. Okay, so let's put this aside here for a second and let's look at your cards. So eights have to do with putting work or effort into a situation, but you see this person here in this card, it seems like they've turned their back to their emotions. I feel like your love interest is feeling numb and they don't know how to deal with their emotions right now. This person may also feel that you're going to walk away from them and your person's trying to stay hopeful about the connection with the star card energy. They feel like they've poured a lot of emotions into this connection and they are trying to keep their emotions in balance. That's what I feel like. There's two fish in this card, so I do feel like they want to connect with you emotionally. They are numb though, okay? They feel numb, but they're trying to be hopeful. And I feel like they have tried to talk to others about the situation because I see birds in the sky to clear the confusion for them. They're trying to be you know, logical about things and say the right things and do the right things in their actions. That's what I feel like because horses represent actions. And swords and king of swords in particular are like politicians. So it's like, I need to say and do all the right things. I need to take a leadership role in communicating what I want here. But I am feeling hopeless here in my emotions. Even though I'm trying to stay positive about this situation, I'm, I'm feeling like I have to do and say all the right things here and I need to take a leadership role and I'm trying to be logical about this. I really want to give Virgo some kind of text message, a letter, or document about house and family, a stable situation, or close to home. I really want to give this time to grow or I want to heal this situation. I want to heal house and family. 
You know, um, I feel like I, I want to give this time to grow. Some of you, you know, may, may be buying a house with this person or thinking about buying a house with this person because we see a contract and a house and tree. This person may feel like they are numb or they don't know how to deal with their emotions and so they'd rather write it down or send you some kind of text message letter or document about the sense that um, they feel numb and they have walked away from their emotions. This person is trying to be hopeful because of the stable situation you guys have built and they feel like, all right, I need to be logical about this and I need to give this some time to grow or some time to heal. We see two plus seven is eight, nine. You fulfill my desires. I want a sense of stability and stableness here and I really do want to put the work or effort into this situation. I don't know how to be honest with you about this relationship when it comes to people. What did I say? I felt like they had talked to people about this situation. Because socializing can represent people. It could represent family, it could represent friends, okay? Um, they feel like there's some kind of deceptions in the relationship because of people, family, friends, or other people infringing upon the connection. They don't know how to be honest about that, how to say this to you. This person feels like there's huge potential here in the connection, Ace of Pentacles energy. Your person is really doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching, a lot of analyzing about friendship, celebration, and a sense of abundance here. Again, in your situation, I feel like they may feel like there's another person infringing upon the connection because the Three of Cups is there. We see that the Tower card is here, some indecisions and emotions. So your person is spending some time alone. They feel like, all right, I need to spend some time alone. I want to look at this huge opportunity that we have here. I want to sense the structure and order. I'm indecisive, so I'm doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here with my emotions when it comes to the sense of abundance, going out and socializing and being with you and spending time with you. I do feel like for some of you, this person really wants to spend more time with you as well. Socializing can be like going out. And then the Three of Cups is also the same thing. I like to go out, I like to have a good time. We, we have a great time together. Let's go further on this. I wanna send you some kind of text message letter or document about the fact that I'm very defensive here about getting hurt. I really do want a commitment here, engagement or marriage. So how do I be honest with you in my thoughts about this relationship and being defensive when there's other people involved in this commitment? Wow, okay. This person feels like they want a sense of justice here. Justice can be just truth, just decision, okay? And they're trying to make a decision here or have a balanced decision made because they do have attraction to you, okay? So they find you very sexy and attractive here. And they may also feel like you have a lot of people around you that may find you very sexy and attractive. And they may feel that you are hiding their, your thoughts from them or they're hiding the fact that they are having some issues with uh, other people around you, okay? So we see a person card here and romance and sun. There's something to do with a person here could be you, could be the love interest, okay? And there's romantic feelings and a sense of happiness here where they want to reveal some things about romance and their, their true thoughts here that they've been holding back. They are missing you when you're not around and so they want to make a decision very soon so that things can change. Virgo, they don't know how to be honest with you when it comes to this text message letter or document and missing you. There's something to do with this relationship and this defensive energy and they want a decision to be made soon because there's other people here, friends, family, or they really want to go out, they want to have a good time with you and they want to be committed to some changes here. Going down another layer here, Virgo, I want to send you a letter, message, or document of you being single and available or about the fact that I'm isolated and separated from you. I want to be closer to you. I want a stable situation. I'm indecisive here. I want you to make a choice when it comes to romance. 
I want to give this time to grow and heal. I feel so emotional and you make me so happy here. And I want to reveal some things here because Sun Card can also talk about revealing emotions and romance. Because the letter and text message document or this paperwork and some indecisions and revealing this, right? So, and the central issue is there's indecisions that this person is doing a lot of soul searching about when it comes to their emotions. Going further on this, Virgo. I don't know if you're going to walk away from me. I don't know if I can deal with my emotions. I see there's huge potential with us. And I want a decision to be made. I'm tr truly hopeful for a positive outcome. I've looked at this deeply and I'm very attracted to you. I'm just trying to be logical about everything. I enjoy my time with you when we go out, we celebrate, we have a good time. But I don't know how to be honest with you when it comes to my thoughts, Seven of Swords energy. It's like a sense of confusion here that I have to hide from you. So let's see their action, Virgo, their action they're going to take towards you. Okay, so they're going to take romantic actions towards you. So definitely taking an action with the Knight of Cups coming out. We see there's something to do with a person. So that could be you, could be the love interest. So they're going to be romantic and nurturing and supportive in their actions towards you. Okay, so let's see what's going to be the likely outcome. You're going to get exactly what you want here, Virgo, with the Nine of Cups energy when it comes to a soulmate connection and love. And it's going to lead to something a lot more stable with the King of Pentacles energy. We see the Cross card, we see the Lilies card, and we see the Mice card. So these burdens and challenges and this patient energy will be taken away. So all the burdens and challenges and the issues here seem to be taken away. There may be a little bit of worry and anxiety of these patient energy or making the best decision here. There's a decision here when it comes to love, Ace of Cups energy, to make the effort, making the effort here. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I will see you in another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. Actually, I just did the Min Monthlies yesterday, which is Love, Career Finance, and Health and Wellness, and it's covering the time period of February 15th to the 28th, okay? So definitely we'll give you a lot more information about what's going on in your romantic love life, and if you're interested in career and finance and health, that's the reading, go check out. And then also I did do the Valentine's Day reading, which also gives you more information about your romantic love life and the assessment of what's going on with them. And then of course the weeklies, which is the day to day and the overall and the monthlies. And the next reading I'm gonna come out with guys is going to be either secrets, okay? So what do they secretly wanna tell you that they don't tell you? Um, what's secretly going on with the situation that you don't know? And, uh, or we can do um, X returns, new love. That's the one where I do new love. See if you get new love or you have new love coming in or if your X, return, X is going to return to you. We could do that one. Or I feel like weeklies may be next. I like to stay on schedule. So I'll, you guys can let me know which one you want me to do next in the comments below. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple weeks and I will see you guys soon. I love you guys. See you soon.